In central Pennsylvania, conditions went from bad to way worse when heavy winds brought fast snow. Officials are warning drivers to beware of slippery roads and low visibility. Snow also landed along the Connecticut-Massachusetts state line. The first hint of what's expected to be the region's first nor'eastern this late winter season. This is an event where the snow is going to be so much heavier. So please just wait. You don't have to do it the second it falls. New York Governor Kathy Hochul declared a state of emergency and has already activated the National Guard, warning the storm could be deadly. Stay in your homes. It is very, very hard to plow the roads when there are people in front of you or cars that insisted on venturing out and end up in a ditch and have to be rescued. According to the National Weather Service, wind gusts could reach 50 miles an hour from New York City to Boston. We're just west of the city. Emergency crews from Pennsylvania pitched in to trim branches that could snap under the weight of today's expected heavy wet snow and take down power lines. You're going to have snowfall rates that exceed an inch, an inch and a half an hour. Signs of coastal flooding along Massachusetts shore were already evident Monday. While further inland, residents took to neighborhood sand piles. I'm just filling up my bucket, getting ready for tomorrow, those 20 inches we're getting. When you live in New England, if you're not prepared, you're looking for trouble. There are tens of thousands of customers already without power, and the snow is expected to continue falling at a rate of about an inch an hour. That started at midnight and should continue throughout the day. Of course, nobody expects children to go to school in conditions like these, so they're either doing remote learning in the region or, of course, having a snow day. Lilia Luciano, CBS News. Fitchburg, Massachusetts.